This is going to be much more wilder. No, absolutely. We, I mean, Dasho, we studied his Seth. He gets his pressure going. But Tofi, I mean, these are very burst-style characters. They get in, they get their pressure going, they get damage, and oh, here it comes. Okay, that was very simple pressure, but hey, got the damage in. Oh, and that drop conversion there. Could have been a combo. Yeah, he had the meter for the extension and she didn't find it. Didn't matter. It's Seth. SPD. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Great safe jump set up there. Be like, oh, you want uppercut? Uh-uh. Uppercuts don't work right now. Mm. Nope. nope. Okay. Ooh, that was so tweaked. Which side is he on? Oh Don't my god. Okay, that looks like it was on the other side. It all right? did. It really did. But maybe it's because the body died and floated the other way. Stupid floaty bodies. Goddamn floaty bodies. Okay. Wow, the raw jumping. Mm, and the Thunder Knuckles are working out so well. Really just putting on a lot of pressure and. No. Hey, look at Tompi like. Hits. He's shimmying from freaking three-quarter screen away because he wants to maintain that positional advantage, which he now has completely lost. Oh my god, the pretty combos, though, from Dashio. And I don't think this is going to finish with the scaling. It's not, it's not going to finish. Yeah, okay. I, for a minute, thought he was going to go for the SPD because I saw that whiff and I was like, oh, crap, that's an SPD. And I thought I'd, I would have responded with a jump, which would have gotten stuffed by that crouching short. I, I think that was probably the exact setup that he was playing him through the mind games there, where it's like you're thinking you have to either block or you know look for the weird SPD setup and you get caught by the crowd short. Oh, great air to air! Wow, Dasho has just been doing such a good job of setting up his zone. But the little frame traps with the thunder knuckle—that's where you know he's taking all his health. Man, it's it's nasty, dude. It's so nasty. And then the way he's playing the normals in the Fatis range, like he's, he's it's pretty brilliant. It's funny, because we're so used to Viper, you know, seeing all the damage. Oh my, I didn't even realize that he took Ultra 2. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know either. What? <laughs> Get wrecked. Came out of nowhere, all right. I just hit him in the front. He's going to get chipped anyways. Good job, Tonpi. Good job. Round one of game two. Let's go. Okay, great option there to chase down that jump. And you see how the neutral is starting? Every time they, they get back into neutral, they're like practically full screen away. Dasho is really respecting, also trying to respect that Thunder Knuckle range. Mm -hmm. And stay out of it. Just misfates it right there. And honestly, they're both respecting each other's range. And you saw the opportunities there from both players. The, the potential of the focus, the potential of the jump ins, the excise modes. Like playing that, that, at that range is pretty risky for both players. Okay, Dasho gets out, but oh, this should be a big conversion. Oh, doesn't get the juggle. That's unfortunate. He had an opportunity on that Oki there and didn't quite get it. Oh, oh! my god, that was sick. Great use of the instability on the EX Seismo there. I that mean, was sick. God damn, Japanese players, you guys are so emotionless. <laughs> it's funny because uh, very few moves actually have the visibility to uh, beat out the EX uppercut from Seth. Mm -hmm. I think EX Seismo is one of the few in the game that uh, mm -hmm. that situation would actually work. So I got, I got a random question that has nothing to do with the game. Would you call what they just did right there stoic, or would you call that just them not giving a damn? Or something else. What was that? I call it like, it's like the ultimate poker face. They sit there, it's like, if I show emotion, my opponent will know more. No, like, okay, straight up. Look, look at them right now. And, and you can... Tone Piece's face has not changed, blinked. He has not flinched, nor smiled. Okay, he, he, he blinked a couple of times, but nothing on his face has changed. Ultimate poker face. These guys, this is high level, fast paced chess and poker combined. He's like a mime. He's like a mime. He's like a mime. <laughs> <laughs> he could be perfect if he wanted to. Anyways, I missed the entire first round. Well, I was just looking at the zoning game that both players end up playing there, which was uh, very strange. Not strange, just a change in the meta, so to say. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. All right, burn the meter. Absolutely. He should. He absolutely should. You're in round two, you need to win. You should win, not save meter. A lot more hits. Oh, and you know what? That was such a smart setup. The first mm -hmm. very hard uh -huh. to block, and then after that, it's like, well, I'm just going to chip you out. And consider this. He had three meters just at that point where he used the meter, and he built that back to two. Oh, but the bait. 
Big damage. Good start. Burn kick setup's working out. Joshua gets a chance to reset it, though. Oh my god, this is looking really good for Tompi here. Oh my god. A P. He gets R. Kelly. Dang. Uh, a, a smirk on Dashio's face after that. Um, I don't really think Tompi's face changed much after that again. 